You want to learn how to design this nice burger flyer with Corel Draw? Stick around, I will show you how. What is going on? My name is Dennis. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, kindly subscribe and click on the bell because I help graphic designers find success in their career. Okay, these are the resources I'll be using for this tutorial and I'm going to set my size to A5. I'll double click on the rectangle to, to get this shape here. Then click on the white color to give it a white temporal color and i'm going to right click on this place where you have this text to take off the outline when you right click there and the next thing i'm going to do is to set my color i'll be working with green and yellow so i'm going to click on this green color and click on the interactive field to click and drag and click on yellow then i'm going to choose the elliptical fountain field which makes this color round like this okay i think this is pretty good okay and i'm going to bring this here right click and bring to the shape to power clip then you see these options where you see move here copy here and power clip inside and you click on the power clip inside and the image goes into the shape but if you can't do it that way you can still use this other pattern by right clicking on the object and you see power clip inside then you take the arrow to the shape click and the picture goes into the shape then i'm going to edit my power clip by pressing alternate on the keyboard press alternate on your keyboard and click on the image reduce take it upwards i think this is better then i'm going to open my power clip if you bring your cursor down here you see options like edit power clip and other options so i'm going to click here to edit my power clip then you can edit your power clip this way use the transparency to to transparent the down part press shift on your keyboard to make this transparency straight here and i'm going to bitmap this convert to bitmap cmyk okay and i'm going to bring this transparent this top side also okay i think i'm okay with this then close power clip here and i want to add a special effect to this image so i'm going to press alternate click on the shape to select the image inside the shape then click on the transparency tool click on image mode and you see overlay click on overlay to get this special effect like this you can see how it looks like then i'm going to adjust my transparency again okay i'm happy with this so i'm going to click on the picture and this is okay for now then i'm going to bring in the main image i'll be using for this design reduce the image this way and rotate it this way i think i'm okay with this position so i'm going to add a shadow down here so click on the shadow to click and drag and the shadow is down then click on preset to set the direction of your shadows so i'm going to choose the perspective bottom left and it comes this way then i'm going to adjust my shadow to where i want it to be 
okay this position is nice for me i'm going to increase my transparency to 37 and feathers to okay i think i'm okay with 20 then i'll increase my transparency again okay i'll leave it at 49 i'm okay with this i'm going to drag this upward okay now i want to break my shadows because it seems the shadow is outside the design if you click on this you see what i mean you can see the shadow is outside the design you know we have a place where we are designing and if this shadow goes out the design it won't be nice when you want to export for print so i'm going to break the shadow and at the same time i'll reduce the shadow to fit inside the design so this is how i'm going to do this click on this and drag this way to activate your shadow at the same time then objects break shadow apart and you can see the shadow is off so now i can hold here and drag inside while our shadow still remain under the bugger and the next thing i'm going to do is to type in this I'm going to use James Stroker. That's the typeface I'll be working with. This typeface is very nice. Let me know down in the comments if you love this typeface. Okay, I'm going to use the shape tool to adjust this by taking it upwards. Okay, I'm happy with this and I'm going to take it to my design, enlarge it a little. Okay, I'm happy with this and I'm going to change the color to white then it's not giving me more contrast so I'm going to add a little effect the contour effect to get more contrast from this so I'm going to click on contour and click here once this is done this is what you will get but remember you have to set your contour to 2.0 millimeters to get this same contour and make sure that your contour is your contour steps is only one and i set my contour to round corners round corners if it were to be metered corners it would have not been like this so i left it at round Corner. so be sure to set your contour this way so you get this exact contour and the next thing i'm going to do is to break my contour apart so i can edit it differently from the text by clicking the object and break contour apart once this is done you can use your color eye drop to pick this green color at the edge here and fill it on the contour and this is what we get and i'm going to give this contour a shadow sorry okay and now i'm going to adjust my shadow till it fits what i want put the transparency at um, 68 while the feathers at 10 and this is okay while well, i select the the light burger as well so i give it another shadow click on the shadow to copy shadow properties and click where we added the first shadow so our the light burger will take the same pattern of shadow and this is what we get so i'm going to click on the contour if you can't select the contour easily, press alternate and click till you select the contour as you can see here on Jose. 
okay i'm going to add an outline here so i'm going to right click on white and double click here to set your outline size and it sets to 0.75 and i think this is okay so the next thing i will do here is to add this using the rectangle tool okay i'm clicking on the shape tool then select this two node press shift and click here to select only these two nodes so you can adjust this like this okay give it a white color and right click to take off the black outline and this is okay for me remember to keep space at the edges of your design so when you want to trim this design it won't affect your design the trim marks are very important when designing flyers like this because you will design with small size well you when you take it to a printer the printer will use large paper sheets to print this and once it's taken to the bulletin they will have to trim off the white areas of the design so be careful enough so your design will not be cut off i'm going to type this here And the typeface I'm going to use is Corbel. I'll use capital letters. Control K to break the text. Now centralize this. I think I should reduce this a little and take it upwards. Take it to gold and red color. Okay, I'm okay with this. And I'm going to add this here using the rectangle to here. Okay, give it white color and right click to take off the outline. You can still adjust it this way. And the next thing I'm going to do is to click on the ellipse to to create this circle press control while creating this circle so you maintain a normal circle and give it a red color and i'll give it a white color while i take it here right click here to take off the white to take off the black outline okay click on the circle press shift and reduce this like this and i want to duplicate this circle so as i'm holding it like this i will right click defile the circle now i have two circles so this is how it works i want to give the next circle a red hairline then double click here and set the width to 0.75 and style to these dotted lines i think i'm okay with this then i'm going to type this here Okay, I'm going to select this and make it bold. Then I will reduce the font size to I'm going to reduce the font size to 10 is okay. I'll bring it here. Okay, I'm going to type this also. I 
I type this with small letters, so I'm going to change it to capital letters here. Make it bold and bring it here. All right, the next thing I'm going to do here is to set this like this. Click on the two nodes to form this curve. Okay, I'm going to remove this again. I'm okay with that. Give it a red color and right click to take off the hairline. Then I'm going to type this. I think I don't really like this particular typeface with numbers, so I'm going to use this in place of that. Okay, pretty cool. And I'm going to type this also using these two. Control page up to bring it to the top. I'm going to adjust the tracking like this and I'll take this upwards. Okay, click and drag and right click before you leave. I want to type this here. Okay. Type this. Okay, 
so this is our final design i'm going to link up all these resources i used for this flyer on the description below so kindly check it out after watching this video thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video and you learned from this video kindly subscribe if you've not subscribed yet share this video and like it as well thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you and you see me next time